to Tribe Talk. Today we have Jacob with us. Hey, Jacob. Hi. And we're just going to talk a little bit about all the things with the coronavirus and the imp like the implementation of everything that's been happening with you know out of stocks and like what do you do when you can't get your products and what do you do with what to put out there into the world so she's going to talk a little bit about that and yeah what do you have for us Jacob? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a couple of my clients at this point have been have had their you know supply lines affected like either um, some of the products they make are unable to be shipped or uh, they're unable to get the next shipment or even just components of the products that they make um, have had that whole like line interrupted so they can't manufacture uh, what they need. So we're seeing this directly affect our clients, um, both clients who ship out of China and clients who ship from other places. So pretty relevant, pretty timely, but we do have like a set of best practices just to sort of throw at you and uh, see what you can go ahead and get accomplished um, to sort of handle this and actually make the most of it uh, while you can. Um, the two, or I should say the one thing that I would recommend above anything else is going to be a sort, if you're running a Shopify store, an app that allows you to take pre-orders, right? So there are a couple that we recommend and they both sound very similar. Uh, there's pre-order now and then there's pre-order i think it's version two or something along those lines but i'm sure catherine's got a spot where she can she can link those two apps but they're the two best reviewed um, apps on the shopify store for pre-order or back order items so you can find them pretty easily what this will allow you to do is actually get consumers information get them to pay for their orders and then just ship it out when you have it again right so you're not having like there are a couple similar apps that are like you know notifying people when something's back in stock but then you have to uh, rely on them not having purchased it in the interim time or having decided against it in the interim time in this way you can sort of take advantage of the fact that they wanted to buy something now maybe they're not able to buy it now to put them in two weeks or something like that totally fine as long as you've got um, a pre-order manager in there that captures that information captures payment information you're good to go you can keep selling like you were before but the language if you have an estimated time when you're going to be able to ship products put that everywhere right like put that near your add to cart buttons put it in your product descriptions and think about if you don't decide to but at least think about putting it into your advertising as well and one of the big reasons for that is facebook um for instance will actually shut down advertisers especially newer advertisers if they get a slew of negative reviews negative comments so if folks order something and you haven't made it super apparent that it's not shipping for three weeks or something like that they're gonna start leaving all kinds of negative uh, reviews like this is a scam company and facebook's gonna hear that again especially on new advertisers and be like you're right that's a scam and shut you down that's happened to clients that i've had before as well so that's no joke and you don't want a bunch of bad reviews when you just it's pretty simple um great and not everybody reads these you might still get a couple but it's pretty simple to try and make sure it's out front um in front of everybody when they order also uh consider putting that in your email receipts right so again people have ordered but now they know that it's going to take two or three weeks to ship out do so have estimations on these things right now some do and some don't like it depends i think it i think it depends on your manufacturer like the the sort of people that you're dealing with a couple of the clients that i have think that they've got like a pretty good in and they're like yep we definitely think that we'll have a shipment by the first weekend in, uh by the first weekend in april and others are like i've heard four or five different dates at this point so i'm not really sure i think if you're in the latter category right where you're really not sure when it's going to ship put a far out timeline, right? So say maybe second week of April, right? So say, you know, we expect shipment second week of April and you can update that as you get more information. If you're really like, if you think for some reason that your shipments will be delayed until summer, maybe this isn't the best idea, but I think for most of what we're hearing, things should still be, um, should be getting back on track in the beginning of Q2 so that's hopefully good. Under, under promise over deliver that's good yeah it, exactly so like if you're like hey surprise shipment then you can just delight everybody which is fabulous um 
along the lines of delighting people or sort of, there are a ton of different marketing tactics that you can put into place while you're out of stock or when you're, when you can see the out of stock coming, right? We sort of manufacture scarcity all the time in marketing. We, we try to capitalize on the fear of missing out. Now in this instance, it's real for a lot of different companies. So take advantage of that in the best way that you can. Um, one way to do it is to put some badges on some items that you know are going to sell out. You can do this like with uh, tagging them as best sellers, or you can do it with only X many left, right? Put a sort of like countdown on the amount of inventory that's left on certain items. Um, you can uh, do this in advertising, right? You can do the exact same thing, right? Have several items that you know you're going to be low on inventory on and say, you know, only a few left, get them while you can, something along those lines. Um, another option, if you have a fairly large email list, uh, try making them feel special, right? Send them an email that, hey, we wanted you to be the first to know that these items are about to sell out or we expect that uh, you know, only 20 of these are going to be left by this weekend. Get yours now before everybody else or something along those lines. It's always good to make people feel special. Um, and then once you're out of stock, which is where a lot of people are right now, um, try moving your advertising over to get on the wait list. Right. So these sold out last time, get on the wait list, make sure that they don't sell out again once we get a, a brand new shipment. Uh, Pre-order your XYZ item now to make sure that you'll be the first to receive it when we restock in April. Something along those lines. Again, it's more just taking advantage of a situation you can't do anything about. And you would see us sometimes employ these tactics, but it isn't necessarily a sellout time. So the fact that the fact that you can actually uh, take advantage of it and actually might help your marketing, um, I think it's fantastic. Uh, the other thing you can do, um, if you're really, if you're trying to uh, sort of hype things up during that sort of sellout time, you can offer a discount or a gift with purchase, free shipping, if you order during the specific out of stock time. Or maybe you say like, okay, if you order before we restock, you can take 10% off your order, something along those lines. And that way, once you do have your restock in, you have a whole bunch of orders to fulfill, which might not be so awesome from the fulfillment side, but from the sales and marketing side, it's just, it's done and dusted. You can keep uh, selling the way you were before. That was a ton of practical tips. Thank you, Jacob. That was awesome. Yay for the practicality during a uh, pandemic, you know. <laughs> You have to find a win somewhere. So hopefully you all can find a win from some of those practical tips. And we thank you guys for tuning in again. And we hope you have a great week. Bye. Thanks.